Hey guys, Edison here, and I'm going to show you how to brew the best cup of coffee ever in a French press. Here's what you need. You need a French press. You need coffee. You need a grinder, which this is a funky grinder. It's an annoying hand crank grinder that you'll learn to love soon. And you need hot water. This is just an electric water kettle. You can do a stove top if you don't have one of these, or better yet, go get one of those because they're awesome. So all you gotta do is load up your grinder with delicious, delicious coffee. You're going to use, you're going to need for every six fluid ounces of water, you need one scoop, two tablespoon scoop, of coffee grounds. Uh, gr not coffee beans, so you want to remeasure it when we're done. Somehow, magically, they grow when you grind them. I don't know how that works. So if you measure out, like for me, when I measure out five scoops of beans, I end up with more than five scoops of grounds. Physics, it's weird. I don't understand it. If you're a freak like me and have a hand crank grinder, this is the time consuming part. morning workout, I also have ground coffee. Delicious, yummy, freshly ground coffee. If you're using a French press, you want to make it kind of coarse, so bigger chunks than if you use like a coffee pot or brewer. So, like I say, magically, I wind up with more scoops than I need. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That coffee. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. See? They're still left over. How that happens, I'll just never know. But, point is, we got the right amount. You need to then pour your hot water. And I kind of shake it around a little bit. But the point is you want to get all of the grounds wet. And so probably the best thing to do is to stir with something wooden, wooden spoon or stir stick. Oh look at that. Look at that. Then you gotta wait four minutes. Four minutes. And then you have I'm gonna set my timer on my phone. Four minutes. Go. It's ready! So, the French press, when it's all done, what you gotta do is see the big old thing sticking out of your coffee maker? It's a plunger. You just gotta slowly and gently plunge down. See, look. Look at that, look at that. You're locking all, it has like a little metal filter, and you lock all of the grounds at the bottom, so you don't drink grounds. And it leaves the rest, it's just nothing but pure delicious coffee. And then, I'm not to do but pour and enjoy. 
take a look at this. Look at that. Oh, okay. Look at that. Oh. Now this is how Edison makes and drinks his coffee.